1936, the silver screen bore witness to a tale that transcended the confines of its time. Dodsworth, a cinematic gem directed by William Wyler, delicately navigates the intricacies of relationships, societal expectations, and the inexorable march of time. The film revolves around the evolving dynamics between Sam and Fran Dodsworth as they embark on a journey of self-discovery in the midst of cultural shifts. As you reflect on this classic, consider if there's a scene or moment etched in your memory, a tableau that resonates with the universal themes of love, loss, and resilience. Does Dodsworth, with its unembellished storytelling, evoke personal reflections or inspire you in unexpected ways? We invite you to share your most cherished memories or personal experiences connected to this timeless narrative. Your stories, the echoes of lives touched by Dodsworth, add depth to the collective appreciation of this cinematic masterpiece. We would love to hear your insights and anecdotes in the comments below. Crafting tales of connection and introspection, Dodsworth remains more than just a film. It's a canvas upon which the nuances of the human experience unfold. What scene has left an indelible mark on you? Can you recount a personal story where Dodsworth became a subtle force shaping your perspective? Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie. We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Dodsworth, a film from 1936 directed by William Wyler, follows the story of an affluent American couple, Samuel and Fran Dodsworth. Samuel, a retired automobile magnate, and Fran embark on a European journey after selling their business. However, their seemingly idyllic trip takes a turn as Fran becomes enamored with the European lifestyle, leading to marital strain. The narrative skillfully explores themes of cultural clashes and personal transformation. Adapted from Sinclair Lewis' novel, the film delves into the complexities of relationships and the impact of societal changes on individuals. Notable characters include the earnest Samuel Dodsworth and his wife Fran, whose desires propel the narrative forward. The film's style is characterized by Weiler's understated direction, allowing the story and performances to take center stage. Dodsworth's impact on popular culture lies in its nuanced portrayal of human relationships and the timeless exploration of self-discovery within the backdrop of societal shifts. The film endures as a classic, resonating with audiences for its insightful depiction of the human experience. David Niven, known for his candid remarks, didn't hold back when describing his experience working on the 1936 film. Niven characterized director William Wyler as a challenging presence, labeling him a Jekyll and Hyde who transformed into a demanding figure the moment he assumed his directorial role. Despite acknowledging Wyler's occasional warmth offset, Niven found him to be a difficult collaborator. Interestingly, Wyler didn't seem overly impressed with Niven's talent, considering him little more than a playboy suitable for the role of Captain Lockhart, a charming cad in the film. On the contrary, the camaraderie between director William Wyler and actor Walter Houston proved to be a harmonious collaboration. Their shared understanding of screen acting, devoid of elaborate techniques, resulted in what Wyler deemed a letter-perfect film performance by Houston. The director appreciated Houston's extensive stage experience, which contributed to the authenticity of his on-screen portrayal. Adding a layer of intrigue to the narrative, Ruth Chatterton, who played Fran Dodsworth, celebrated a birthday in the film, claiming to be turning 35. However, her desire to emulate the youthful appearance of Mary Esther's character, Edith Courtright, hinted at a different reality. Esther was 30 at the time, while Chatterton was actually 43, introducing a subtle complexity to the characters' ages in the storyline. In summary, the 1936 film, under the direction of William Wyler, witnessed both challenging dynamics and fruitful collaborations on set. Niven's candid observations about Wyler's directing style and the contrasting rapport between Wyler and Houston offer intriguing insights into the behind-the-scenes dynamics. Meanwhile, the subtle age dynamics among the characters, as portrayed by Chatterton and Esther, add an additional layer of nuance to the film's narrative. John Payne made his film debut in Dodsworth, a notable addition to the 1936 cinematic landscape. This film, directed by William Wyler, holds significance beyond Payne's debut, with interesting details surrounding its production. One intriguing aspect is the use of the arms Queen Mary, the iconic ship that played a crucial role in the film. Premiering just months after its maiden voyage, the Queen Mary became a wartime symbol, earning the nickname Grey Ghost for its service during World War II. 
Today, it stands as a historical relic residing in Long Beach, California, with a rich legacy as a hotel, tourist destination, and museum. Another unique feature is Weiler's meticulous approach to capturing European settings. Although the film was entirely shot in the studio, Weiler sent a camera crew to various European cities to gather background shots, intending to project them behind the sets. Weiler's personal knowledge of these locales and detailed instructions resulted in a blend of authenticity and storytelling despite some shots being omitted to avoid a travelogue feel. In summary, Dodsworth's historical context, John Payne's debut, The Arms Queen Mary's role, and Weiler's innovative approach to set design contribute to the film's unique identity in cinema. Mary Esther, who portrayed Edith Courtright in the film, considered it her favorite role, using her personal struggles from a recent public child custody hearing to channel the character's emotions. Esther found solace in the role, drawing upon her own tumultuous experiences during a challenging period in her life. Meanwhile, behind the scenes, director William Wyler and actress Ruth Chatterton clashed regularly over the interpretation of Fran. Chatterton, battling insecurities about aging in Hollywood, wanted to play Fran as a villainess, while Wyler sought to bring depth and sympathy to the character. The tension escalated to the point where Chatterton reportedly slapped Wyler and retreated to her dressing room, revealing the intensity of their daily disputes. Looking ahead, in 1995, Milo's foreman announced plans for a remake of Dodsworth, with Alfred Uri providing the script and Harrison Ford slated for the title role. This announcement marked a potential reimagining of the classic film with a new creative team and a fresh perspective. These behind-the-scenes conflicts and future plans for a remake add intriguing layers to the legacy of Dodsworth, showcasing the complex dynamics between actors, directors, and the enduring impact of a film beyond its initial release. As we journeyed through the captivating tapestry of Dodsworth's narrative, our senses were woven into a delicate dance of emotions and reflections. The film, a subtle maestro orchestrating a symphony of life's intricacies, invites us to peer into the corridors of our own experiences. Each frame, a mirror reflecting not only the characters on screen, but also the echoes of our own existence. As you bask in the afterglow of Dodsworth's storytelling, take a moment to wander through the recesses of your memories. What resonates with you? Was it the poignant unraveling of relationships, the raw authenticity of human connection, or the nuances that whispered familiar tales? Share with us your musings, your snippets of introspection sparked by this cinematic gem. Dodsworth isn't just a movie. It's a canvas where you paint the hues of your own encounters. Whether you found solace in the quiet moments or discovered parallels with your own journey, your reflections add vibrant strokes to the collective masterpiece of shared human experiences. As we part ways, I extend a heartfelt gratitude for embarking on this cinematic sojourn. Your thoughts, like cherished treasures, enrich the tapestry of discourse surrounding Dodsworth. Thank you for your time and the unique imprint you've left on this dialogue. Until our next shared exploration of the human narrative,